Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I am doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And for my returning subs, extended family, thank you for the love and support that you supply me with each and every day, that you nourish me with each and every day. As I help you, you help me. And that is truly a blessing. So with that being said, Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos and have not subscribed yet, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I'd love the chance to get to know you about your positive, your positive love and gift that you have been placed upon. Or it's just about the positive feedback that you want to go ahead and comment on the video. Or it's just the con content of the video that you want to go ahead and give your opinion on. It would be greatly appreciated. Or if you enjoy what you heard and resonate, go ahead and spread the word. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. So, today I'm listening, oh my gosh, to my favorite meditation. My favorite meditation. Healing songs of dolphins and whales. Deep meditative music for harmony and inner peace i mean i definitely need it this week y'all it's just been crazy um the video today is about twin flame 101 stand tr strong in your conviction stand strong in your conviction i mean it, it's just like when you know you're on that positive path you know working towards to get your higher self making yourself into a better person you know, when you are trying to spread awareness and positivity, you will have stuff coming at you all kind of ways. All kind of ways. If you are a YouTuber and you know that you you have, you know, you're doing positive things, you're putting positive information out of there. You can be doing the most positive things and you will have people coming at you sideways. You're sideways. I'm going to, I said, listen to me and listen to me well before I even get this video started. I love each and every one of y'all. Whether you feel negative about me or positive about me, I still love you anyway because it's just like that that's not doing anything for me when it goes to the next negative direction. It does more to me when I can reflect on the positive things. So if you feel like I'm a fraud or I'm a fake or I don't know what I'm talking about, please do yourself and myself a favor and just unsubscribe you ain't got to tell me your reason you ain't got to give all this stuff telling me i shouldn't say this i shouldn't say that this don't belong to you i mean it's a fifth amendment right and last time i checked this was my channel so it's just like if you don't like what somebody is saying like there's times i have seen millions and mi millions of videos and i might not have agreed with what they said but if i could have made like a positive remark without being condescending, um, passive aggressive, or anything like that, you know, because people put their energy and their time and, you know, a mindset for what they're doing. If they're doing a positive thing for somebody, you know, that's no problem. But I'm not about to knock the next person down over you know what they're talking about even though i might not understand it and i might not be on that level that's fine but you stand strong in your conviction no matter what when you're going through stuff you're gonna have people coming at you crazy you know you would be antagonized and stuff like that instead of just you know wiping yourself away from somebody you want to just throw some stuff in their time to try to set them back and have them you know, double guessing herself. And that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to stop doing my videos. I get a joy out of when I can see comments and people telling me, you know what, Riles, when I'm going through this too, I had this and this and this and that happen. Or I love when somebody can tell me some positive stuff that they went through. That's the stuff that I love to hear. It's sad when you can hear that, but, you know, people need something to, you know, somebody to vent to. And I love to hear these stories, too. But I can go ahead and make a positive remark to it. Or if they don't understand what I'm saying, I make sure that they understand. You know, it's not like I say you're stupid or anything. Because some people might not be on that level where they can understand what I'm saying. Because they might not be going through it. But that doesn't mean it's happening. You know, I've had people tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm fake. 
there is too many people if you can scroll down in comments that, that there's validations to know that I'm not playing with the stuff that I play with because there's people that's on um, in my personal inner circle that I talk to on a daily there's certain things that I would there's like we, there was no need to even conversate about that but if there's something that needs to come out that one of their loved ones or something they might be going through needs to be addressed. They know there's no possible way I should know that. So they know that's the real deal. Holy feel. I if I feel like I'm not comfortable with something, I'm not gonna speak upon it because I want to make sure when I'm putting something out there to you, I you know I can stand firm in what I believe in. I I can go back and just say you know what yeah yeah yeah. This, 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 and this, and that. Because I have people come back and ask me, well, you know, what does a twin flame have to do with a hey, Oka? Are they the same thing? No, it's not. It's two different things. But, you know, we're doing both of them are doing positive things. It's just one is more extra about doing things, and one is more, you know, oneness, you know, trying to get you to do things. But this one wants to live like a rebel. But they're still doing positive things over here with the hey, Oka. But there's twin flames there's dealing with two. Health is only dealing with one. So there's, you know, it's two different things, but they're both working on positive adjustments, you know. But it's just, it's just, I love when I get challenged like that. But it's just like when you're standing firm and you, you know, you, you know, you're trying to understand, you know, you push positivity out, love and light, you know, and then you're just wondering why people come at you with crazy stuff and it's just like when I can get you know I can go into nature and ask to you know give me signs because I know I have positive things coming for me because it's just when you're pushing out stuff I know what it feels like to not know why I am the way I am why do I know these certain things about people you know I'm learning more about myself every day and it's a blessing when I can go and help the next person like I can send you links I can um, send you different videos even if it's not mine I can go send you somebody else's like if I'm not too much in detail for you here's some extra details that I learned because there are some people that will not help you and they will scrutinize you and throw salt in your game so quick but I'm not that type of person because I feel like everybody should be able to win at the same time so when you're on your journey, stand on your journey, but just prepare. Just prepare yourself. You're going to deal with some BS. That's why I'm just like, please don't waste my time by sending me something stupid because it, it, it'll just get deleted and I'll laugh at you anyway. Even though you might not see, you know, when somebody can tell you they don't watch you for a few weeks and they're commenting on one of your videos that got, you almost got close to 7,000 daggone views on it in four months. And I think that's pretty good for a person that you're actually speaking on a positive note. It's not no booty dancing. I mean, twer twerking. It ain't nobody being shot. It ain't, you know, it's not stuff like that. It's on a positive note. And I said, I'm proud of myself for that. You know, even though it was four months, that's that was good for me. Because that lets me know that there's a lot of people that are out here wanting to know you know, is there more of us out here because you don't really hear about this stuff. And I mean, it's a blessing to me that I'm able to talk about that. And it's just so many people can tell me they don't really hear about these. And if they do, it's these Android robot talking videos, which, you know, some people can't deal with. It's annoying to them. So, I mean, I love what I do. I love when I can be able to fix things. I get frustrated when you know, one of my, my, my extended family comes to me with a problem I can't fix. I get frustrated with that. I have close friends that tell me I beat myself up too much. And they know who I'm talking about. You know, I beat myself up too much. I be putting my standards way up here. And I'm like, I need to be like this. I need to be like this and trying to hurry up and get there. But knowing that takes time. You know, you have to pay attention to all the process around you. It's like we're dealing with a lot of stuff right now. When someone can tell me, you know, you haven't cried enough, you know, you don't know how I'm set up. <laughs> you don't know how I'm set up. I, you know, I, I said, let me tell you what I've been going through. When you're, okay, you already going through all this, you know, with you being an empath, you already know, you already got to deal with your stuff on a daily basis. Deal with your stuff on a daily basis. Then you're dealing with your friend's stuff and you know, you have no problem. 
but helping them if you know that you have the answers for that or at least you can guide them in the direction where they need to be that's a blessing too but when you're already trying to heal i know some of y'all don't like that truth you know about me and my father and that's fine but when spirit god tell me this is your truth then you need to tell it i don't like being vulnerable People that are close to me know after all I've been through with the people that I've known for years and there's some of them I don't talk to anymore. Some of them, they'll push themselves away from me because they didn't like that truth. Because that truth is ugly. Not every truth you're going to get is going to be pretty. Things I had to let go of. Knowing my parents, my adopted father and my stepmother and my family cashed in on my pain. That's something I had to live with every day. I can actually tell you this without crying. I have to be able to live and forgive people that, you know, my father adopted me. He found out Prince Rogers Nelson was your father. Oh, he won. Cha-ching! But he gonna make his daughter pay for it. I literally got beat anytime I projected anything to act like Prince. Okay? I would dag on there, get beat down if I even mentioned my dad. I couldn't even mention any song if I even sung a song. Oh, I got punished for it. That's something I had to live with. My family laughed at me, okay? They have documents. They can take me home right now. I got people up on my dad's side of the camp. I don't know if they have something. I know it has something to do with DDC and all the rest of that. I don't know if it has anything to do with family. Okay, but that's something I had to let go of. That's my truth that I had to deal with. This is why I have to stand strong in my conviction no matter how you perceive it, how, how you soak this in, but this is the truth. I can't ignore my truth. This is something I have to deal with and heal with. That I never got a chance to meet my reunite with my father again all over money all over money and this is not for money for me this is not for his estate you know I feel like family if God was to bless me with money then that's fine but me I've never had a chance to have real family because it was all over money so I'd rather have family over money But, I mean, I'm, I'm kept in closet because, you know, all this is going on. I'm trying to heal from that. Then last night, I go on social media. Somebody has an up-close picture of my dad where it's like up-close, like selfie up-close, where it looked like somebody took a blunt object to my dad's face and his jaw was broke. That's something I had to sit up here and not unsee again. I mean, I, I have to constantly have that in my head. And I really thought I was going to lose my mind. So I have to stand strong into that, too. Where I can sit up here and tell y'all this and not even cry. Because, I mean, I cried all last night. Having to, having to you know, heal and let go of things. Knowing this is like, this is life. This is something I have to deal with to know that I've never got a chance to, to know my father. But knowing I keep on standing in my truth and I keep letting you know these are the things that happen. You know, I don't know your life. I don't know your tragedies. I don't know your sorrows, your setbacks and stuff like this. But this is mine. This is something I have to heal from. Just to know that my family, they keep keying and laugh in my face when they knew. I never got a chance to meet my dad, like, knowing they got away with something. They really felt like they got away with something because they laugh about it. When my, my aunt got, uh, uh, what is it, um, had a beneficiary over his estate, they were throwing a party. On my birthday, they were throwing a party just because the fact is, I wasn't, she, she was over that estate, even though they knew my father left me everything. That's something I have to heal from. So when I'm telling you, you stand strong in your conviction. No matter what, don't be, don't be a product of your situation. You be, you be a walking trademark for that better person, that higher self. The 
things that you went through, let that be a stepping stone to get you to where you really need to be. That's what I'm doing. So it's just like I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I didn't want to project that vibe out to you. You know, I had to heal from this. I had to cry, do my kumbayas, meditate, release. So I'm telling you, when you stand strong in your conviction, please stand strong in your conviction. There's going to be things thrown at you. There's going to be things thrown at you that is not going to be pretty. You're probably going through this summer solstice to where every, you know, people are telling me it brings out the crazies. It brings out negative stuff. And for me, it's been bringing up my childhood, and that is not a pretty sight for me. That is just something, you know, I never told my children about my, my, my childhood because that was too tragic for me. But when I tell you, you need to, whatever you're dealing with, know that you will get through this. You know, whether, you know, you believe my truth, this is my truth, regardless of what you, you feel about it or your opinion is about it. There's people that are for me. There's people that are for me, but they don't project it out here. And that's also fine, too. But this is what I had to tell you. There's no fake about it. This is, you know, this is something that I would not wish on my worst enemy. I, it just felt like I've been tied to a chair. And every worst fear you have ever had that ever has crossed your mind is being projected out to you. And you have to sit there and watch every single fear and live that out. And that was basically my whole life. And dealing with this and then on top of that, you're trying to heal. And I mean, it's just like they already took that picture and put it up two days before his anniversary. I done sketched it out my mind. Now they done came out with a totally different picture where it's like blood splatter on the wall and all this other stuff that was just very disturbing. So when you have to deal with stuff like that and feel, and it's just like my dad it is not having dignity because it's just like all these other things are being portrayed for him and I have to have a blind eye and just like, you know, I can't react to everything. But it's just like, if you're not used to a life like that, how do you know how to react? So, you're going through your stuff. I'm telling you, you know, you will get through this. If I can tell you my story and just let you know I'm getting through this, I am healing, I am letting stuff go, you can do the exact same thing. So, I hope you are able to resonate with this video. Drop me a line. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. Like and subscribe. It will greatly be appreciated. Go ahead. Um, if, you, if you enjoyed my video, like, share, spread the word. It will be greatly appreciated. I will keep you in my prayers. And I definitely hope you do the same for me. And send out as much love and light and positivity. Y'all apologize if you felt like I was having a negative vibe. It was just like, you know what? I got to give you the tea. You also got to get the business same time because it's just like you, you, you can't be sweet some things that comes in a sweet package you don't always it can be kind of bitter at times too so but I hope you are able to get something out of my video um I will keep you in my prayers and I was much love and light and positivity as is possible you know lift each other up be kind to one another and I will see you on my next video peace and wow